Hi, my name's Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Wild Arms Ring, recording it all on VHS. Last time we finished Chapter 3, so onward into Chapter 4, taking a break at Baskar Village. So peaceful. It's hard to believe we were fighting so frantically moments ago. It just doesn't seem real. Okay, it is, it's still Virgin's voice. I can't believe a cub drifter like me got involved in a battle over Philgaia and won with the help of many comrades. I fought to save the world. Maybe it's natural that it doesn't feel real. I mean, this was like a fantasy straight out of a picture book. Then what do, then what kind of things do seem real? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. I guess these things aren't supposed to. Hey, having fun? Uh, the star of the party shouldn't be sitting over, over here by herself. Yeah, my face was getting all hot. I just needed to cool off. Oh, okay. By the way, have you seen Shane? He's been gone for a while. Shane? No, I haven't seen him. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Jet either. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <sighs> I'll help you look. Oof. Looks like I'm okay. Hey, have you been drinking? Haha, <laughs> whatever. There you are. I'm not too comfortable with the festive occasions myself. You sure are amazing. We're about the same age, and you fought to perfect, protect Philgaia. All I did was tag along with some pretty skilled guys, and that was the outcome. That'll save the human race. Pfft. I didn't qualify for that. I didn't have a single memory of the planet I wanted to protect. But even so, you fought, and emerged victorious. I've been raised to act as a pillar to protect this planet, but all I do is relay divine revelations from my dreams. That was a weird way to say re revelations. That's all. It is my duty to protect the planet, yet I can't do anything about it. I guess the only thing we have in common is that neither of us have any memories of this planet. No memories? I have been raised as a pillar, therefore my life centers around this colony here. The only other outside world I know is the outskirts of the colony, and maybe a few shrines. The rest, I just use my imagination, based on the stories of Philgaia my brother tells me. I don't know anything about the Philgaia I'm supposed to protect. So in that sense, I have no memories of this planet. Do you think that one day I, too, will be able to risk my life and fight for the planet as you and my brother did? You can't avoid battles when the enemy comes right at you. As long as you're not scared, your body will react naturally. As if you have no reason to back off. That's what it means to fight. As long as you have the will to move forward, anyone can fight. Actually, maybe you fight to move forward. Uh, 
Off-screen voices, I'm betting on Virginia. Hey Shane, Jet, I've got a cold one for you. Here comes the loudmouth. Leave now if I were you. Dream child. Hmm. We've got Shane. We have Virginia and only Virginia. I guess we'll start with Shane. Oh, there you are. Your brother was looking for you. Are you alone? Anyone else with you? That's funny. Now where could Jet be? Um... Virginia? What's wrong? Do you feel sick? Then you should... Virginia. But yes? <laughs> I am alright now. I will do whatever I must to do to... I must do to fulfill... Fi Let's try that read again. I will do whatever I must to do... Nope. To... Not to do. Do to. <sighs> I will do whatever I must do to fulfill my destiny. I will protect this planet. Does he have too much to drink? What's up? We can't find Shane. What? Do you think he was kidnapped? Not likely. How can you be so sure? You know something we don't? The secret key passed... Let's try that again. The secret key tra passed down from priesthood is missing. The secret key? How come I've never heard of that? The secret key is an artifact of a pillar uses when the time comes for him to perform his duty. The sacred key summons a powerful monster called a Hydra to act as a pillar's guard. The Hydra's role is to see to it that the pillar carries out his duty successfully, so it is quite formidable. This monster is also able to regenerate. I hear the only way to negate this ability is through the use of fire. Note to sell fire against Hydras. Though, where is this key used? You should at least know that. At a sanctuary to the north, known as the Sacrificial Altar. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's this? That's the place where... Th Let's try this again. you got to be kidding me. That's the place where the pillar sacrifices his life for the planet. What, what, are, what are you going to do, Granny? Nothing. This was Shane's decision. There isn't anything I can do about it. Uh, then I'm gonna drag Shane back whether he likes it or not. That's what I decided. So you can't do anything about it. The strong needs not valor, only a relentless will that goes against fate. Perhaps it is not the pillar that supports Philagaya, but fellows such as them. Okay, we're back. <laughs> back to regular world. Uh, okay, um, everybody's doing fine, right? Did you... Well, that seems likely. I've only searched this area like 12 times. And that explains the, like, redder color in this area. Mm. I don't know if I like this.
this sensation. Could it be a guardian? No, it is similar, but much more powerful and fierce. Almost as if it is billowing. This is Vogaya itself. Shane is trying to awaken it. Let's hurry. Mm-hmm, there is stuff out here. I'm on to you, game. I do like being able to see the, like, edge of the, uh... the zone with the tracker turned on. Oh, hey. Hmm, so do we go in the front door or do we go upstairs? Well, <laughs> mm, let's try the front door. I have a sneaking suspicion they'll kick me out and send me up to the top. Hmm. Oh, hey. We could actually get in a fight here. How about that? <laughs> it's been a while. You know, I should probably just go ahead and take the fight. Well, no choice about it this time. Uh, ambushed by... Large looking things, one of those electric eel dudes they have generally hurt in the past. the deal with Scorpius. Weak to water. Good news. Alright, well, that shouldn't last long. a new chapter in this game every time it's a little bit on the weird side just because we drop so immediately into th story things and so much of this game has been about like all right what am i doing next and it's like no the, the thing i'm doing next is like really very much the next thing it's just it's it's very obvious and i don't have to think about that at all it's okay story let's let's go <laughs> um i'm really curious what's up with this spooky ghost girl and why just why, really? That's all. Hmm. Do I have duplicators? Not many. Well, that was rude.
The phoenix's wings act as your guide. Extinguish all the flames and let them be. The flames will eventually lead you. Let's not spin the camera. Forever. This way. Hmm. Classic Lost Woods trick, it seems. And now we wait. I do, I like this. I like this puzzle a lot because it's, it makes me feel good about, like, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem that complicated, but it makes you feel clever for solving it. Like, this is one of those, like, oh no, it's the four directions, which way do I go? But like, this makes you feel clever for doing, you know, it doesn't feel like it's much of a stretch to figure that one out. Of just like, okay, Phoenix, yeah, fire, yeah, turn, turn the torches off and wait. Like, they essentially told you what to do there, but I don't know. Like, it it really is just a higher payout of feeling clever, I guess, than it really should have. A, I don't know. Shane! Brother, what are you doing here? <laughs> You're coming home with me. What are you saying, brother? Can't you see I'm here trying to obtain the power to fight? Why? To carry out my duties as a pillar and to obtain the power to fight alongside you. If I have that power... Then I can travel with all of you, right? Stop talking nonsense, you're... You don't understand me at all, brother. Why must you always treat me like a child? You... You need me when you fight for the world. No, actually, you need me by your side all the time. So please don't meddle in my affair bro affairs, brother. Just a little longer and I will gain great power. Please do not disturb me. I ask for your patience. Mm, Hydra? That's a Hydra. Okay, well we know fire works, and we know fire is generally on Clive, so we're gonna have to fix that. Hey Clive, you're gonna give that up. Um, we'll give up Aqua Wisp. And of course, Back to shuffling personal skills. Hey, you know that thing that I keep talking about that I should do someday of, like, you know, giving everybody resistances and all that stuff. Still haven't done it. I'll get to it someday. Maybe. Let's just stack those wards and um, focus presents ones that wear off after battle. Poison does not. You are protected from the ones that do linger after battle, so you don't need that. Alright. And with that, back to our usual scheduled program. Mm. Hey Clive, have some permanence. Hey Clive, have some double damage. Hey Jet. I don't know, do, do things to the Hydra. Hey, Gallows. I just took... Okay, so I just took Analyze off of Gallows. Do I... Do anything? I'm thinking to just lean into fire.
Okay, so he's not actually weak to it, but fire does do the thing. Oh hey, you have Maelstrom. Alright, so we're dealing with water. I'm not expecting any surprises out of this one. Yeah, I got nothing. Um, do I want to do permanence on anyone else? I don't think so. Alright, well, if we're going to be casting fire at it, then let's make sure it's weak to fire. I really the only one with water resistance. I think I went through this before. Yeah, I don't have any other water resistance. Cool. Clive is like the one person I don't want to have water resistance because if he took damage and I could use Valiant on him eventually, but eh, whatever, we'll do that on Vet. On Jet. Jet. Jet, enjoy some permanence. Clive, do some shoots. Hey, Jet, I don't know. Shoot some things. I think this is all he's going to be able to do. We'll see if he has another attack. That's effective. Hey, I cast fire on you, jerk. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, well... Again, this one doesn't seem like it's going to be too interesting of a fight. It's just... It's already reached that equilibrium point of like, okay, well, here's what I need to do. Uh, do I want to use actual push berries? Nah. We're gonna use baby berries. Little, little babby heel berries. That's how <laughs> little I think of you, Hydra. <laughs> Apologies. pull out because I hit a button? Or is it just like that corner of the room? Is Virginia... Oh, okay, no, no, I'm just... I'm... I'm being a dumb. <laughs> All right. Let's do the thing, Gatling the thing, do the other things. 
Uh, Hydra doesn't seem to have... I swear, I had finally gotten to the point where I could, like, view enemy information. I don't know. Oh, those attacks do feel good. Hey, Clive, you know what? You're out of ammo. Instead of reloading immediately, here's an idea. Let's hyperjet. Never mind, I forgot. You just use all your stuff. Reload away. <laughs> I was about to say, like, I am just not respecting this Hydra at all. Like, again, I kind of... <laughs> that Kraken that I ran... Oh, hey, I forgot to do... You know, whatever. Experience. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that whole Kraken thing has completely thrown off my level, so it's like, I just... I don't know. I, I just... I'm probably not going to be respecting the enemies like I should for a while. A long while. Hey, buddy. Shane, how you doing? We need to have a talk. Uh, we also need to have a talk about these holes in the floor. No, I want to set a bomb. I don't want to get attacked. Of course. <laughs> like, you know, why would they put a chest over here and also chest across the way? And the answer, of course, is Mimics. Mimics, who have made the terrible mistake of all being in one big group. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, if you're dying to Mystic Gems, like, my dudes, I've got some bad news for you. Okay, Talisman. Uh, I think I have one of those, right? No. Wait, wait. Hold on. Increases the chance of reviving from Fallen? Am I reading that right? Does that, like, give me the chance to recover like if somebody is killed from fallen state does that just give them like a chance to stand back up or is it like is fallen okay a lucky card um is fallen like a state of help me i i fall on and i can't get up like is is revival a problem <laughs> No. Okay, are you a boss or you just an ambush? You're just an ambush. Oh, hey. Big. Big fish. In case it is obvious, I'm kind of tired today, <laughs> so... My brain is a little slow. I don't know, but this lightning kind of sucks. The water ain't much better. 
Okay, are you at least good? Oh, gargoyles. Maybe the... Maybe I'm not seeing the thing because I haven't analyzed them. That must be it. I'm curious if any of that counts as stuff to be reflected. Let's find out. Meanwhile, dead. Very dead. Well, I don't know what you're weak to, so... Heck it. Just explode. I hope I hit gargoyles and not the other things. I think I hit the other things, which that's unfortunate. Them eels. What a waste. Well... <laughs> Sorry, game balance. <laughs> you threw a crack in it. You put a crack in a hole. <laughs> Gave me a chance to go go look in that hole. And you managed, uh, I don't know. Have I quote unquote ruined the game for myself? I mean, I'm still having fun and I'm still really intrigued by the story, but also like I've, I feel like I've really thrown off the combat balance. Yeah, they're actually doing some pretty alright damage. I can check luck here too, great. <laughs> Jet, your luck was the best, why did you do that? Well, we at least got an earth ring. Sure isn't a water ring though. The stone slate is covered in mud. Alright, this... Oh, hey. That's neat. <laughs> That's just a neat visual effect. Sorry for spinning the camera. Just making sure. Oh, this PS2 stick. It really loves to read as diagonal when it's not. Boy, howdy! to go in perfectly straight lines, please. There we go. Why? Why must you interfere? All I want is to help you, brother. With the pillar as my fate, I must devote my life to Phil Gaia. Again, these are such great... Uh, uh, am I a burden to you, brother? Am I an unworthy brother to you? You don't need me? Uh, oh, that's... It's like a Hydra, but different. Okay, uh, let's throw Aquas back over to Gallows because I'm actually gonna have a look at this one. 
personal skills. Let's get those back in order. Critical hit, yes. Uh, and poison. Um, let's rethink that. Attack blocker. Do, do, do. Probably don't need those. Aside from that, let's standard opener. And assuming this one's worth experience, let's remember to do all the lucky card nonsense. Surprise, weak to water, active to fire. Uh, worth as much as the last one. Alright, let's hack it up. Oh hey, he hits actually kind of hard. That's some cool visual effects right there. This game does have just like a lot of really cool visual effects. Alright, did I misread or something? That's ice, not water. Yeah, I misread. Okay, cool. I have 21 on the Gala cards. I really need to never not use a Gala card. <laughs> Alright, let's try this with the, you know, right element. I'm trying to decide how much I want to, like, move things around just so I could, like, attach everybody, use attachment on everybody with the uh, gallows and get, um, oh boy, that was not half your health, it was more than that. Yeah, it could give everybody ice damage, but it seems like I might not want to. I should have cast Valiant on Gallows first. Well, he doesn't really do much shooting. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> it's like, um, game? <laughs> Just pulled the camera out too far, and also we missed. That's a bummer. Gallows feel better. Clive, do the big shoot. Jet. Regular shoot, and Gallows, since you will have the health for it, try another refrigerate, see what happens. Buddy. So it seems that that was, in fact, not. Nope, that was, in fact, a reaction. Oh, lordy. <laughs> All right, well, we can fix this. Okay, we have a Mega Berry. Forgot. We just got that. Okay, everybody else, reload. Let's get Gallows back up on his feet. I had given him more weight benefits than that. Yeah, whatever. That's Gallows down. Oh, hey, Gallows is still up. Virgin. Okay, everybody's doing not great. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Nobody's doing great right now. Hey, we actually have a boss fight on our hands. Maybe I should be giving it a bit more, you know. No. Every time we start thinking that, the boss dies. Alright. Ah, yes, a fire ring. Great. I shall continue to summon as many times as it takes. Though I may have lost your trust, I now have power. Yes, Gaia swells within me. That's enough! Is this what you have to do in order to fight alongside me? What's gotten into you? She told me in my dream. The dream child told me. The dream child? She told me the reason I can't help you is because I lack power. And that as long as I have power, I would be able to fight alongside you. Forgive me, brother. I have resorted to our lineage of priesthood to complete the agreement. What? You made an agreement? Yes. The surge of Gaia will soon let loose. I may be too inexperienced to control it. It may even cause Phil Gaia harm. But... But since I have unleashed it, I will sacrifice my life to stop it. Shane! Thank you, brother. I really enjoyed hearing all the stories about your travels. 
though I'm not familiar with the outside world. Thank you for the many memories. I have come to love Vilgaia. I am not afraid to risk my life for the Vilgaia that I love. I will defend it. How many times are you going to make me say enough is enough? You say you love Vilgaia? You say you're not afraid to risk your life over Vilgaia? Stop talking out of your behind. What the heck would you know about Vilgaia? What makes you love it so much? You haven't as much ventured out of Baskar and you say such big words? Give me a break. You say my stories, my memories made you love Vilgaia? That's just wrong. Let me tell you a little something about the memories. Memories are not something you accept from others. It's something you yourself gain by living and experiencing. It's like... You and I aren't meant to fight together for Filgaia. You and I are meant to live together on Filgaia. Is living with me so boring as to forsake your duties of priesthood? Well, <laughs> let's just live together and make memories of our own. Brother? The surge of Gaia has been subsued. But how? Aren't you forgetting that I'm your big brother? That may be wet behind the ears, but just like you, I too am a candidate to succeed the priesthood. There are two of us, see? If we combine our powers, we become one. Uh, through the incredible power of brotherhood, we can do anything. Remember? Oh, my dear brother. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I gotta act like a big brother sometime, you know. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I sensed an abnormal energy force, so I came here, but... Looks like you've already taken care of it. You've done well. Thanks, but I really didn't have much to do with it. Dream child. You know that girl? No. Oh. The lineage of priesthood didn't live up to my expectations. I thought it'd be a lot more interesting. Interesting? You get a kick out of toying with people's hearts? I was just fulfilling his wish. I'm offended by your comment. Beatrice, what nightmare are you wishing for now? My wish has always been the same. I just want a world where I can live. That's all. Daddy? We have to take care of the boy first. There's something I would like to ask him as well. Well, let's head back to Baskar now. I want to make sure he's all right. Thank you. I'm all right now. Uh, Daddy? What is it that you're chasing? Does it have something to do with that girl? Is it something I can help you with? When we finally arrived at, Yggdrasil, at the Yggdrasil system after searching for the cause of the world's decay, you were pondering about a darkness beyond Yggdrasil, weren't you? Were you not? Please, tell us. What happened behind the scenes of the Yggdrasil accident? That was no accident. It was an act of evil. I realize I should have given Warner the, like, you don't want to go down that road voice. But too late now. <laughs> the tragedy began in the same manner as it did the boy. 
one of our colleagues' minds was taken over by a demon. His mind? By a demon? That colleague was Durin, the one who operated the generator. The dream demon Beatrice appeared inside his dreams and eventually controlled him. Beatrice. So that's the name of that girl. Beatrice, who concealed herself inside the information library Hades, took advantage of the fact that she herself is composed of electrical signals. She managed to connect with people's minds, dreams, which are also composed of electrical signals. That is what happened to Durin, but I'm sure there are plenty of other victims. Hmm. The dream demon, due to her unique composition, is hardly capable of affecting the real world herself. However, she can manipulate people by controlling their minds through dreams. That way, she was able that way, she was able to reach out to the real world without having to directly intervene. So my dream site was the dream child. All I saw was information being fed from the dream demon Beatrice. I want you to tell me, what is it that Beatrice wants and what is she trying to do? Why did she cause the Yggdrasil tragedy of ten years ago? I'm sorry. Most of the dreams Beatrice fed me were about the Blue Menace. Looking back now, I understand they referred to Siegfried and the Prophets. Which means Beatrice refused to help her fellow demon Siegfried. That's not all. By telling Shane, I think she made us intervene with his plans. A conflict of interests. Or was Siegfried's plan of Hilgaia's terraforming a hindrance to her hidden agenda? Anyhow, I plan to seal the Hyades, which has brought dangerous wisdom to this planet. Filgaia is our planet. All life stems from Filgaia. The demon's wisdom must be sealed so that no further harm will come about. I beg to differ. No doubt the information library Hades he has oh, Hades yeah, has brought forth great harm and damage to this planet. The power of Hades is important enormous. However, I do not believe this power itself is evil. If we can use it effectively, or perhaps... I believe the planet scarred by the wisdom of Hades should be restored by the wisdom of Hades. <sighs> Forgive me. I got a little heated up. My professor and I once pursued the history of Fulgaia together. Perhaps that is why I am against sealing such a pre uh, precious artifact as Hades. That doesn't look good. This, this ain't good. You feel it too, Shane. I feel it from the southeast near the peninsula. It is an evil force like the demons, but far greater. Beatrice, how dauntless of you. So you need not hide inside the darkness of people's hearts anymore. You go find out what behi what's behind this impact. I must go stop Hades. That is the only way I can atone. Let's get a move on. Alright, well... <laughs> guess we'll just stop there. <laughs> for now um how's everybody doing okay so we do need to recover uh yeah um heck <laughs> stuff is happening <laughs> uh, we're gonna have ourselves a nap we're gonna have ourselves a save and we'll pick this back up next time thank you very much for watching i've been bryce this has been vhs play have yourself a lovely evening why am i signing off i'm not saving yet Anyway, all that stuff I just said, it still stands, even though it's now a few seconds later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright.
please commence having that lovely evening now. for now.